what was the thinking behind Ledge? Like, what, what were you aspiring for when you came up with the concept of starting your own label? To have a sustainable project on the family property, something that would be able to be passed down to either my daughter or my brother and sister's kids, to uh, keep my parents on the property, uh, yeah, to, to have uh, something that would last, that would be sustainable. And vineyards are known to be sustainable if, um, if conceived correctly. The idea was, uh, was always to dry farm. Our Grenache is 10 by 10. Um, we, we hope to, to dry farm as much, if not all of it, um, in the future. I know that doesn't seem extremely realistic given the current climate, but again, we're in sandy soils. We're in the driest years. We've been able to dig down and have moisture four, four feet down. So, so there's water there. Uh, I think that I need to be a little bit more patient once the vines are established to keep the water off. And we're getting, we're getting better and better at that. We're trying to be extremely efficient with our water. Does the heat become a challenge in certain years for grape growing? Totally. Yeah? Yeah. And what do you do? What do you do when it's just, it's like so damn hot, you figure your, your, your grapes are frying. Like what, what, what is there to do as a winemaker? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, there's a lot of things that you can do on the, on the sorting table at the end of the, at, at the end of the whole process. There, there are, uh, shade cloths that can be put up in certain parts of the vineyard that will, uh, to prevent, uh, burn and too much exposure. Um, but it's just another one of those things that you're going to, you have to deal with, uh, on a year by year basis. Um, for the most part, it's just, uh, going to be, um, a sign of what that vintage was. And how much variation do you get from vintage to vintage with heat issues? Can be quite a bit. Uh, we had a, uh, a year in uh, 2012 where there was a lot of um, uh, heavy fog uh, on our place. I'll speak for, for our vineyard. And um, I ended up uh, dropping a decent amount of fruit that had mildew issues in you know, the uh, following year. Um, actually had a, um, you know, a, a much bigger crop and uh, no mildew issues at all. So there's, you know, heat issues and, and moisture issues and um, obviously water issues. Um, but grapes seem to love stress and those differences can be wonderful things down the line in the bottle where it's frustrating in the, from the farming standpoint, but, but really neat to side by side the, the, the struggles of the year.